at this time in our service, we would normally, if we were meeting in person, collect the offerings and tithes to offer up to God as thanks to him for all that he does for us and all of the ways that he just lavishes his blessings upon us. And instead of turning this into a plea for money, which I know a lot of people um, consider a bit off-putting, I just want to point you back to a couple of key truths. The first is that God's will is inevitable. As you heard me say just a little while ago, um, as inevitable as Jesus going to the cross was, and as inevitable as everybody's bowing before Jesus as king, the gentle king who comes to save certainly is, God's will is inevitable. And he is going to take care of us out of his abundance. I think a lot of people are adopting a scarcity mentality because of how uncertain things may feel in this world, especially when it comes to money. But we can trust that God will take care of his people because he's always been about that business. I think this could be a very poignant time for us as the church to evaluate how we give and what we give. And to those of you who have faithfully continued to support our congregation and the work we do together, I thank you. Um, whether you've been giving by sending in a check or delivering it to the little drop box outside the church office or probably more safely doing that electronically. If you're capable of doing that, there's a way of doing that on, on our website. Um, I thank you for supporting the work. And another important reminder about our time together and our work together, God doesn't ask us to give because he needs our money, our time, or our effort. He asks us to give because he wants us to join him in his redemptive work, his mission to save the world. And he gives us a little piece of that work. So once again, if you're giving, thank you for continuing to support Emmanuel and our work together. If you're not giving, I would encourage you to consider doing so. And as we listen to this, this song as the offertory, um, let it be a resounding reminder that God certainly provides everything that we need to support this body and life, not just in this world, but also in the next. <laughs> 